ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today we have to go pick up a very thirsty truck and driver on an extremely hot day. I don't know if you can see my dash temperature, but it shows 106 degrees. That's the actual air temperature. We are currently under extreme heat warnings. Uh, so, we're going to get out there and get off the interstate as quickly as possible. Anyhow, I'm going to head to the scene and I've got something, uh, something new to show you. Hopefully it helps uh, make the hookup a lot safer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting back on the interstate, uh, getting close to uh, the semi that I'm going to hook up to. Uh, even though I've done this for a lot of years, I, I don't know everything. I don't claim to know everything. Uh, some of my viewers comment that they learn things from me. Well, likewise, I learn things from some of the comments of my viewers, some of the suggestions of my viewers. Uh, actually, the thing that I was going to show you, or am going to show you here on this particular job came from a suggestion from a viewer. Uh, what it is, is actually the wireless light bar that we have just had marker lights, tail lights, uh, tail, or I'm sorry, brake lights, turn signals, and stuff like that. And uh, one of the viewers actually showed a, a video or put the link to a video of another towing company that had a light bar with red and blue lights on the light bar. So I thought, well, that's a good idea. I'm going to try it. So I took the light bar on this truck and I have put some red and blue lights on it and they're on a separate switch and I'm going to put them on the trailer before I go around to the front of the uh, semi because a lot of times when I'm in front of the semi, oncoming traffic or traffic coming up behind us cannot see my emergency lights. Uh, I'm also going to deploy cones from back here while they can see my emergency lights. That was another suggestion. Uh, you know, you guys are helping me just as much as you say I'm learning or you're learning from me, I'm learning from you too. So uh, the, the biggest thing is that we all stay safe out here on the roads. Uh, going to wait on a break in traffic and uh, we'll get the light bar out show that to you and then I'm going to get busy and get to work. It's extremely hot so I want to want to make this as quick as possible. The driver's been sitting out here in the heat. We'll let him go ahead and get up here. Come on up here and get in the cool, man. What's the plan? I'm gonna hook a light bar onto the back of you and put some cones out and then come around and uh, get hooked up to you. Do uh, you need some water or Gatorade or anything? You sure? Okay. Yeah. All right. As soon as I, yep, here's my break. I'm gonna go ahead and get out and get that stuff set up before I come around in front of you. Alright, I'll show you in here in the bay so that maybe it shows up a little better. But on the separate switch, you can see that it has the red and blue lights. Yeah, I called her. She was fine. <laughs> well, not fine, but she was. She understood what needed to be done. Yeah. Oh, these dead gum things. That hook needs to be turned up the other way. <laughs> yeah. Right. 
gate hinges or uh, latches in the way. There we go. We got it, though. I wish it would stand up a little straighter. But I'm pulling it back. There we go, that's better. Yeah, I like the red and blues, they show up good there. Just because I'm lit up like a Christmas tree, don't pay me no attention. Look, I got all my emergency lights on. They've got plenty of visibility behind me. Most of them are still running too wide. Uh. I have half a mind to call PD and see if they'll send somebody out to help with traffic control. Right until the last second. Come on, guys. Yeah, that's it. I'm calling PD. This is ridiculous. I'm going to get killed out here. Start my phone. Come on, phone. All right, turn my hazards on, and that'll turn the hazards on on the.
the uh, light bar as well. Of course, it's a Friday afternoon. People are in a rush to get anywhere, I guess. All right, come on the phone. Now let's see if you'll work. Yes, ma'am. This is Ron with Midwest Truck. Uh, I don't know if you would have an officer available. I'm out on 55 North, uh, right across from Reed's Metals and Budrovich Crane, and trying to hook up to a semi. And I've got road cones out, and people are not slowing down, moving over. Uh, I could really use a an officer to come out and just assist with traffic control. If if you don't have any. If you don't have anybody available, I'll get one of uh, my trucks to come out and help. Uh, yes, I'm right around the 90 mile marker. Yep. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Uh, All right, so our local PD, Scott City PD, is going to send up an officer. They're very great to work with around here. sit here and wait so that my emergency lights hopefully will get people moved over Be patient with me. I called local PD. They're going to send a guy up. They're going to send a squad car up to sit behind us and help move traffic over. My cones and my large lights aren't doing it. Yeah, I know. You see how fast they're coming by here, too wide. I'm going to wait on the officer to get here. That way we've got a little bit safer hookup. Ain't worth either one of us getting no. killed out here. Cannot stress to you how frustrating this. Look at it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That one actually swerved over and crossed the white line. Spraying bug repellent on my legs. Because if I have to get out in the grass over here, there's uh, ticks and chiggers. The area is full of them. And they love me for some reason. While I'm waiting on the officer, I'm going to go ahead and start getting uh, airline hookup ready to go. Do what I can do in front of it. While my truck's sitting here as a blocker, I hate to use this three quarters of a million dollar piece of equipment as a blocker, but. It's better it than my life. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and start getting your air and stuff hooked up. I can do that while we're waiting on the officer to show up. If they'll get over and leave me enough time. I got front. Should be a one inch to break it loose. And that right there. Yeah, there he is. These are my local guys. They're great to deal with. Anytime I need help, they'll come out and help. Thank you. I don't need the whole lane. If you can just help me keep them moved over. Yeah, I, I guess I'll say it. Go around. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want you getting hit either. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. All right. You sure? Yeah. Because uh, once I come around him and start getting hooked up, if you want to get over here, uh, yeah. partially on the shoulder, I think you just sitting back here is going to help a lot. Okay, so I'll, you got to get in front of him, right? I'm going to get in front of him and hook him up to tow. When you do that, just give me a signal or something like that. Oh, you don't, you, you don't have to, to come around, all I need to do is just get in this lane. I don't have to use both lanes. And then I'm going to, I'm going to hook up to him just like I would for any normal tow. Won't take me very long, but I've got, you see my, all my alert, emergency lights, cones, they were running too wide, 70 plus. They weren't giving me no leeway. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and move my truck up. so much better. I can focus on my job and not have to worry so much on traffic.
Excuse me, sir. Uh, no offense, but you're standing in a really dangerous spot. If you don't mind, stand over here, or you're more than welcome to sit in my truck. I'm not trying to be a pain. I just don't want you getting hurt out here either. I don't mean to be disrespectful either. Don't take it. I hope you don't take it that way. done here is I've just hooked in direct to his air compressor main supply line. I used to drive a 379 did the same thing. <laughs> yeah. There's times this 389 does that. A bit too short. Dang it. Wearing my sunglasses. Sometimes difficult to see out of that rear view. That's better. I don't know if I've already said it. Trailer is empty, correct? All right, good deal. Yeah, dang it. Now turn the heads over. Go for a low pick. That's fine. Asphalt burns. You 
sure you don't need something to drink? That's for darn sure. I had to pick up a refuse truck the other day that had a triaxle trailer on him. He said he was grossing about 125, 130. that he got right out in the lane like that, but it's moving him over. supply air to his truck while I'm whoo, doing the chains. <sighs> Darn you. That looks what I wanted. That one's got the big pin, doesn't it? Yep. Do it the old fashioned way. Put the master link in there, but 
All right, get the heck out of here. box lights there we go all right all i really got to do now is pick up my cones Wheels locked in. Yep. Tire's a little low. That one's a little low. cannot thank you enough. Oh, that's what I'm here for. That's you saved my for. bacon as they say. Hey, that's what I'm here for. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna pick up my cone. I'm gonna pick up my cones and we're just gonna walk real slowly down the shoulder until we find a nice opening in traffic. All right, be safe out there. Thank you. And blues on there show up real good it sure didn't seem to help out here though well take that back i don't know if they did or not because i called in the police and the police department was here before i moved my truck so that probably wasn't a true test but it's got to work better than Nothing at all. I like it. And I'm sorry, I don't remember the viewer's name that suggested it, but I like it. Wait, load up. Yes, typically we would pull the drive shaft. Customer talked to her. She said, get it off the road. She didn't. Her choice, not mine. All right. Well, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. Missed nothing. 
<laughs> Nothing at all. She was laughing about it. Oh. <laughs> Nothing to be embarrassed of. I got the going and didn't even think about it. I mean, I knew I knew I had to stop up here for 91, and that's all I was worried about. I wouldn't even look at the fuel gauge. You're just ready to get home. Uh -huh. I understand that. All right, the officers staying out there are going to give us a, a lane to walk out into. Man, that's nice. Man, that's nice. Uh, there's water, Gatorade, and stuff in the cooler there if you need something. Shoot, you're not that far away from home. No. No, I got a dedicated ride and pretty much I always never paid a Osceola park or so. Okay. get off here and get fuel quite often or not but you got to watch this light it's tricky yeah, yeah you can be right at it and the dead gum thing will switch yeah. I'll call his supervisor and tell him how, how big of a help he was to us <laughs> Well, all you hear is the negative stuff about the police. You know, there's a, I deal with them all the time, and yeah. it's on a, a good basis when I deal with them. People don't see that. All right, I'll just let you pay for your fuel. If you, I mean, if you want to do that. need my red and blues on anymore. Should be pretty close right there. Ladies and gentlemen, while he's getting fuel, I'm going to get the uh, personal information or the customer information off the truck and the trailer, make a phone call to the uh, PD, let the supervisor know what a big help Officer Atlas was to us. Uh, then we're going to take this gentleman down to our shop, prime the fuel system and get the engine back up and running and he can be on his way. Uh, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Please slow down. Move over. Above all, got it. God bless. You.